Humans of the Cardboard, this news is going to rustle some jimmies. We have confirmation on five new Six Samurai cards. Uh, I know a lot of people always looking out for Six Samurai support. Five new cards. I hope this does it for you. Uh, basically, I've been waiting for the last like 35 minutes for these cards to get translated after they got officially announced. Shout out to your organization. They get it out so fast. They do such a good job. The last thing I think is here is uh, I went through the Six Samurai cards before this, just once I saw it got revealed, and I was like, let me refresh on some of the older Six Samurai cards. I don't know the archetype that well. It's never been playable when I've played the game. They have some cards that are like kind of crazy, like non-once per turn loopable cards. Outside of that, their general card pool is actually pretty pretty dookie. Uh, the link's really good, but outside of that, everything else is like either super broken loopable or like pretty weak, actually. And no I sold anymore either. So we'll see as we go, but let's get into it. The first card here is Anarchist Monk of the Six Samurai. Love this guy's design. He looks really cool. Um, he is a level three Dark Warrior Tuner. Okay, so leaning a little bit more into the Synchro aspect here. That's cool. 500 attack, zero defense. Uh, you can only special summon this card with the first effect once per turn. You can only use the second and third effects also once per turn. That's another thing the deck just needs is some once per turn cards for sure. All right, first effect, if you control a six samurai monster other than anarchist monk, you can special summon this card from your hand. Cool, just jumps out of the hand like that. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a six samurai quick play spell from your deck to your hand. Interesting. Some of the quick play spells are not amazing, but some of them are actually okay. Like one, I think, targets a six salmon and then summons another one with like, is it lower level and different attribute? And I think one is like sort of a monster reborn. There's definitely some that were like, okay, uh, especially if you get them for free. So this definitely helps that a little bit. So cool, decent extender, it's a tuner and it gets you a search on summon or on uh, when it leaves the field. So that can be for the link or for a synchro, which is cool. And the third effect, a six samurai synchro monster using this card as material gains this effect. The levels of all monster your opponent controls are reduced by one, whoa. So just like a mini floodgate effect tacked on here, but that is not nothing. Any deck that is like synchro or XYZ or potentially even ritual too. I mean, there are scenarios where like, uh, even in like voiceless, they want to tribute one of their sevens to get a seven out. But if it's a level six, they need to give up two monsters. There's even worlds where that where that's a, an effect. There's even worlds where like, um, I even wonder, like, Snake Eye, right? If their monsters, can they, if they're level one, can they technically be reduced by one? I don't know the ruling on that, but, like, theoretically, they can be uh, brought into a kind of a clunky scenario, a little bit. They just lose a little bit of value where, like, when they summon Poplar after searching it off of Ash, uh, it's not level one, so they can't make Anima with it. So do they have to just immediately fire? Um, Ash's effect instead of getting like the free value. So just like small things like that too. I, that's kind of nifty. That's actually kind of an annoying floodgate effect for sure. All right, cool. Next up we have Instructor of the Six Samurai. Love this guy's design too. I love how they're more like goofy. Not, I guess the other one's not goofy, but this I love this guy. This guy looks really cool. Uh, he almost looks like a Six Samurai like dwarf style guy. It's cool. All right, level two Earth Warrior, another tuner. Okay, really leaning into tuners. That's nice, though, because the deck appreciates that. All right, you can special summon this card with the first effect and the second and third effects. Hard ones return, so a lot of effects here. If you control a six samurai monster... All right, I get it, I get it. Sorry, it happens every time I just open I open my computer up. Uh, if you control a six samurai monster other than instructor, you can special summon this card from the hand. Sure, another one that just jumps out of the hand. I don't know if the deck has a one-card combo now that I think about it. Like, I don't think they... Do they have a normal summon that just goes, like sure this puts two bodies on the field or do you just have to open two card combo i don't know all right uh second effect if this card is sent from the field to the river you can add one six strike card from your deck to your hand mm, i'm not even familiar with that one honestly uh because that's that's one of the ones that i just assumed wouldn't be super searchable but honestly maybe i should and it's a trap oh there's two uh Okay, there's one that's like an interruptive trap by removing like Bushido counters, and it looks like there's a spell too, but I'm getting an ad now. Whatever. Um, okay, cool. And third effect, a six samurai monster synchro summoned using this card as material, gains its effect, monsters your opponent controls lose 500 
attack. Okay, nothing, uh, you know, that one's a little less relevant than the other one. It's, it's a little annoying. You can definitely, like, add up, especially in tight scenarios where, like, that could be the difference sometimes. It's just, like, oh, 500 shy of being able to actually contest my opponent's big monster. Um, there's also a spell. Oh, this one's pretty bad. Six strike, triple impact. If you control three or more six samurai monsters, destroy all monsters your opponent controls, or destroy all spells and traps, or destroy all set spells and traps. Yeah, it's just, that card's not good. The trap maybe is playable, just because it's actually not a terrible interaction, but, um, it's still not great. I guess if you get it for free, maybe it makes it worth it, but... Yeah, at most it's a one-off. Okay, not bad. I mean, listen, they're both tuner extenders that also search a card for free when they're utilized. So, all in all, I can't say they're bad cards at all. Uh, plus, they made them hard once a turn, which I appreciate. All right, next up we have some Synchros. This is a new level 6 Synchro. The one they already have is already like a Spell and Trap Negate, which is not bad. This though, this one, though, is Legendary Klesha 6 Samurai Shien. Level 6 Dark Warrior, 2500 attack, 1900 defense. It takes a Warrior Tuner plus a non-Tuner 6 Samurai monster. Uh, so not, not that generic, but theoretically a generic Warrior Tuner could work here. First effect is a hard once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can add a 6 Samurai monster or Sheehan effect monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Cool. That's already giving me just Synchro Climb vibes. This is searching you a card like either of the two tuners we just saw above. So you summon him, you search one, you summon him, and you go into something bigger potentially. You've got a level three tuner and a level one tuner now that you can just search out and extend with. Once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can negate the activation if you destroy that monster. That is really nice too. This is going to be a somewhat solid combo strategy uh, giving it a monster gate is definitely pretty key here, uh, especially since we can, it appears we can kind of make this guy somewhat early. Uh, so he pushes your engine and then is an anti-nib card. That's a big thing because like Shein's not a bad card making the old Zincro uh, as part of your end board, but he doesn't do anything to deter, you know what I mean, Nibiru. So uh, especially if people are theorizing that like with Barone and with Savage getting banned on the last ban list, if we see Appaloosa go, then like generically like decks lose out on, on that. So having your own in archetype monster negate, especially if you can make it easy, is pretty keen. This one's pretty good. And if this card on the field would be destroy a battle or card effect, you can destroy one other monster you control instead. This card is annoying. Oh, like actually though, like since so a search on summit, that's already probably good enough to make this card playable. Then it's just a walking monster negate straight up with basically no cost to it, really. Uh, I mean, it is basically, it does have no cost to it. So it's just free and it's a negate that destroys. And then if this card's ever going to get outed, you can just out something else instead. That's pretty nice i don't know this card's kind of nasty all right cool all right next level six synchro this is legendary klesha six samurai anishi so a bigger form of anishi that's cool he's one of the old classic ones i think uh which is cool um this is a level six light warrior synchro 17 12 very weak stats to be honest but that's okay um, one tuner and one or more non-tuner so this one's actually completely generic which is interesting uh, you can only use the first and second, uh, third effects once per turn. The first effect reads, If this card is Synchro Summoned, banish any number of six Samurai monsters from your graveyard, then target that many monsters your opponent controls, return them to the hand. Okay, okay. Like, honestly, like, if we're able to just make this kind of easily into a board, especially assuming you're making this with one of the new tuners, you're able to chain block this, basically. Uh, so they have to have a, like, on-field negation that doesn't need to chain to the activation. So you do limit their ability to counter a card like this, even if they have a negate. And then you could resolve this to just bounce at least two, right? You're at least making this with two six samurai monsters, banish them both, bounce two. And you're still probably searching a card from one of these guys. Okay, I, I kind of like this, right? Like a good going first new synchro and a good going second new synchro. I don't hate that. Uh, second effect, warrior monsters you control gain uh, 500 attack and defense during the battle phase only. Sure, that's nice for himself, actually, uh, so that he's actually more like 22-17 instead of 17-12. Uh, that's cool. And the last effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one of your banished six samurai monsters. That's... This card's not bad, too. This card just going second is kind of a nuisance as well. You're probably chain blocking it. 
And even if they out him, if they out him in a way that sends him to grave, you know what I mean? Negate, destroy him, even if you, like, whatever whatever they had to do. Or even if they don't remove him, you're, you just keep playing, you link him off, you synchro him off, whatever. You then summon back one of the six samurais you originally used for his summon, and you'll just keep kind of going. I like both of these synchros. I think there's good utility here. The only other thing I wonder about is there is there any way for six samurai specifically to quick synchro on the opponent's turn? Because that also adds really good value to this card to be like just potentially like a pretty massive bounce on their turn. That's the other thing. I just don't know enough about the archetype to know if we can make this guy on our opponent's turn that easily. But we'll see. It is generic, so hop your squadron for the win. Yikes. All right, and the last card here is a new quick play spell, which is super searchable off of the new tuner. We'll see how this goes. This is six strike. Oh, it's searchable off both. It's a quick play and... Oh, no, no. It's not a six samurai card. Okay, okay. So it's not a six samurai, so it's not searchable off of this guy, because this guy only searches six samurai quick play spells. This guy searches the six strike cards. Okay, so it's searchable off of the second guy, uh, which is good because I was... The six strike cards are not ideal. All right, we already went through that. There's already other decent targets the other guy can search, so I guess this is the better outcome anyway. But this is double assault. This is a quick play spell. You can only use the first uh, effect of the... You can only use one of the two effects once per turn and only once that turn. Uh, so the first effect says apply one of these effects or if you control two or more six samurai monsters, you can apply both. Okay, so the first effect says special summon a six samurai monster with 2,000 or less attack from your hand or graveyard. So just quick reborn on that first effect, basically. The other one is change one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or less attack to face down defense position. Honestly, not terrible either way. Uh, that means, oh, that's kind of cool though. I, I kind of like this because like it's an extender as an engine card. So like if you need it as an extender going first, you can search it off of him and then like use this to keep extending and keep playing. Or, even if you don't need it as extension, you can still set it. And it's a rewarning something, and giving you a quick Book of Moon on the opponent's turn. That's not bad at all. Honestly. Okay. Cool. And the other effect is... Uh, so you can't use both of these effects in the same turn in terms of this second, this number two effect and this number one effect. That doesn't have to do with resolving both of these. You can obviously still do that if you meet the requirement of having two six samurais on the field. Okay, second effect. During the main phase, you can banish this card from grave, target a six samurai monster in your grave, add it back to your hand. Love it. Cool. On the next turn, you just have a free card back to hand to play with. I love it. Uh, yeah, this card's solid. This probably becomes, like, I, I read the trap. The trap is like a pop. It's like a pop one card on the field or bounce one monster on the field or something like that. Uh, the trap is really mid. This is a significantly better card than that. In fact, this could almost be a multi a card you play at multiple if you need the extenders that badly. If it's summoned from deck, it, it'd obviously be a little better because it could actually be like more of a starter and like an early extender rather than requiring you to actually get stuff set up in grave. But uh, it is what it is. That's fine. Um, I don't. I also don't love that the Book of Moon only hits monsters that are 2,000 or less attack. That's a little annoying, because like a lot of end board pieces tend to be a little bigger, but that's not no targets. There definitely still will be targets going second where that matters, and plus going first as an eruption, a lot of times you're hitting engine monsters more than you're hitting end board pieces, so a lot of those monsters tend to be smaller, so that, that'll have a little more application there. Um, yeah, honestly, like... I wasn't really sure. Like I said, I don't know Six Samurais too in-depth. I just read through some of the old cards and, and like refreshed myself on those. I don't know what the modern play style is. I know when anybody messed with this deck, I sold was a pretty big part of it. That card's obviously banned now, so I, I don't know where we lie here. But I do like that they're kind of pushing more into that uh, synchro strategy. I also don't know how crucial and important the... Uh, like the, the the link two is and like setting up the uh, the gateway of the six which is obviously a very insane card being able to just search like an insane amount of cards in one turn just because of how easily it is to spam the board with six samurai monsters um, but that's definitely something to keep in mind so um, all in all pretty interesting I'll need some of you guys to fill in the blanks here in terms of uh, in terms of how uh, like how well this stuff mixes in because I just don't know off the top of my head uh, all the synergies here so definitely keep me posted on that let me know in the comment section down below just your initial thoughts on these cards and if they if they are going to come through or you think they're not enough if you don't think they're the right if you think they're good like, these cards read like decent cards in a vacuum 
I just don't know if it's exactly what Six Samurai needed or if it's enough necessarily. So I need your help on that uh, on that topic down below. So I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. This is pretty hype. It's not necessarily for me. I've never really been like the biggest Six Samurai guy, but I'm not going to lie. I like, I like some of these cards. So maybe I will be a little more interested in them going forward. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. Really good news week so far. I don't know if they'll keep it up all the way through the week, but I will obviously keep you posted with anything news related going forward. Also want to make a video on the new like normal monster support cards that came out in uh, last night and go through like some of the most intriguing targets for some of those cards to like for other decks to take advantage of. But uh, that'll come when we don't have a news day, right? Um, but I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel for to stay updated on all things Yu-Gi-Oh! news and other Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff down the line. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.